In the 1960s, the United States Navy was involved in a program exploring the possibility of developing a joint aviation program that could be used for both Air Force and Navy requirements for a new fighter. This program, called Tactical Fighter Experiment, or TFX, resulted in the F-111 aardvark for the Air Force, but the naval variant, the F-111B, could not meet the Navy's requirements for a new interceptor. In response to the shortfalls, Grumman began studying alternative designs and after the cancellation of the TFX program, was able to win the award of the follow-on VFX, or Naval Fighter Experimental Program, that became the F-14 Tomcat. Conceived as a twin-tailed, twin-engine fighter with variable geometry wings, the Tomcat was a large and powerful aircraft. With a top speed of over Mach 2.3 at altitude and the incorporation of the Hughes AUG-9 radar and long-range AIM-54 Phoenix missile, the F-14 was a lethal interceptor capable of both long-range engagements but also incorporating impressive low-speed handling characteristics for dogfighting. Production began after contract award in January of 1969 at Grumman's facility in Calverton, New York. In all, 712 F-14s were built in three variants, A, B, and D, with the B and D variants notably being equipped with GE F-110 engines as opposed to the earlier Pratt & Whitney TF-30. The F-14 was an expensive aircraft, with Iran being the only export customer. The Tomcat has seen combat on multiple occasions, ranging from air-to-air -air engagements over the Gulf of Sidra and Libya to strike missions in Afghanistan. The Tomcat was retired from U.S. Navy service in 2006, though it remains in active service with Iran. To see a more in-depth look at the F-14, please visit the Librero YouTube channel. And to view more interesting aviation history, please come check us out at www.librero.com. Thanks for your time and consideration, and we hope to speak with you again soon.